Well, Dan here, DD Speed Shop. So we've been giving around the tow truck. In the last video, we did all kinds of welding and screwing around. You guys had a lot of advice, which I used some of it and ignored a lot. But uh, the truck's basically done. So Danny can show you real quick here. So there was a lot of screwing around that I did, and I took a lot of your advice, and I did some things, like I said, I didn't do others. Now, the first thing people said was the A-frame is too long, which it is definitely long. And my problem with that is, Typical tow trucks have the piece kind of down here on the bumper a little bit lower. We're obviously higher, being a one ton in the bed, it kind of is what it is. So to get down all the way, it had to be a little longer. I realize that's gonna create more leverage and all that, but it is how it's gonna be. Um, I, ha I had a want that out for an A-frame and a sling for months. And once you know the day after I put a video out, a guy has one for sale. Shocker, and he sent me a message. So. Anyways, that's that. Uh, we re-rigged everything. I got the boom so it does telescope in and out. So I have a little bit further out now so it's pulling more direct up when we're trying to lift. So that'll be nice. Um, and we actually used this thing uh, just today to pull a motor. Good times. But as uh, so we got all that taken care of, I did add some safety things. I had some safety chains and stuff. I had in the past where one of these cables had let go. So now we got some, some ch uh, chain there just in case we have any issues. That's all taken care of. We hooked on some lights. A little beacon there so that's all taken care of all the anchor points now everything has been jam nutted so it's double nutted on the whole thing and up at the front i added a bunch more bracing and i guess you can't really see here but i added two 5 8 grade 8 bolts on each side on a little piece i added um, and welded that i welded a little uh, standoff right up the frame so the way i see it when you have all the weight on the back it's gonna be trying to pull this so your weight's coming in through the cable down the winch. It's trying to pull this that way, which that's what these uprights are for. So all the weight is gonna be right here, which is right over the axle, which would be nice to be a little bit further ahead, but it is what it is there. And that's gonna try and rip the thing out of the bed that way. So we have uh, four anchor points on each side in the front, two with uh, ready rod and clamping and two right to the, uh, the frame with big honking bolts. We're then clamp right where all the weight is and then at the back. So we should be fine. I do want to add a couple of little tie downs to the bed just because it might do a little twisting, but that's that for now. Um, I got my J hooks made. We added a bunch of safety chains so we can have everything all dialed together. Back here is where I ran into my biggest issue. The way the hooks were, these I cut these off and re-welded. The hooks were actually the other way, they were facing the car. So the issue I ran into while I was playing with this thing is as I was trying to rig it up and I was driving away and trying to put tension on the chain, it was peeling it right off. So I re-welded that, I took the old one and actually put it on the other side, facing the other way, just as another safety. So the chain somehow comes off, it'll grab that. Up here was all good. Obviously it's all painted black, we gotta get it lettered up or put something on it just for fun. And yeah, man, it's been a lot of work, a lot of screwing around. A lot of boring stuff. Oh, I also added, so obviously the wrecker being sitting on the bed, well, the bed has, you know, a two inch gap between the frame. So I added, I painted all in here, but I had uh, two inch right down there, two by three rectangle quarter wall uh, tubing. So we have that, or rectangle I should say. So that's sitting on top of the frame, right sandwiched up against the bed. So it's completely tight. We should all be taken care of there. So we went real heavy back there. So from here to the back of the frame, it's all spaced up with that quarter wall. And I gave just some tack welds, so it's not moving around. In the front, I only put a section right where it's bolted down. But again, it's gonna be trying to leave the truck, whereas this is trying to squish the truck. So I did lift the 57 with it and it did squat down a little bit, but honestly, it didn't sack the thing out. It looked good. My only thing was just the safety chains or the chains to the J hooks to the to the frame weren't going well with those hooks. Originally, I was just going to reweld those hooks and carry on. But uh, this thing, I have a whole lot of no money into. I said, I, by the time I got my horse trading, the record was free, and I had three hundred dollars worth of steel, welding gas, and welding wire, and the miscellaneous hardware. And I had to buy the winch, but the winch can go in anything, so I'm I'm doing pretty good. Um, let's go around front, see if we can hook up a '57 Chevy and take it for a ride.
So pretty simple. We got to lower the boom and uh, basically get as far under the car as we can within reason. Something along those lines. Now this is the pain part, so we gotta end up, of course we're at the curb. We're gonna put the J-hook around the axle, tighten it up, go to the bottom hook, and up to the top one on both sides, so I'll crawl under there and do it. Man, this is, uh, we definitely should've moved the car. We'll show on the other side, because I can uh, maybe get in there a little better. Okay, so we got the chains just on there. You can show that one the way it is. So what we're gonna do is gonna hop in the truck, drive ahead, that'll put the tension on these chains. Then we'll wrap them and hook them up the top. So now those chains should be screaming tight. So we're gonna loop the chain around itself. A bit awkward here, but... So that ain't coming off. And then the same thing, we're just gonna go ahead and put that there. Now, if we cared about, this is actually kind of a comfy position. If we cared about the thing, we'd have a four by four, a six by six block, but uh, we don't. I'll do the other side real quick, then we'll be ready to lift. So now we got the J hook, the bottom of the sling, chain to the top of the sling. It's gonna be up the bumper for scrap and what we're doing it ain't really the end of the world. There we go. So we want it, the A-arm to be at a negative angle or whatever you want, kind of a foot or 10 inches under the rear tire, which we got, obviously. Those chains are smoking tight, so we should be mint. Now, the only thing I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna ratchet strap the steering wheel straight because there's no steering lock on it. I'm gonna hook safety chain up and get my, uh, my loops here. We'll wrap them around a few things and, uh, and carry on. So we'll get back once I'm all Ready to go. Okay, so a couple things. I need a longer safety chain. I'd like this to go kind of through the A-frame, I guess, maybe, but whatever. And I made this, but again, this was a little too short with the way it was going to go, but on a truck, it would probably work okay. I was going to add this just as a double up, just in case. If I got more chain, we could actually make another one. Is this way longer? Yeah, see the idea is actually I'll make one real quick. That way just in case there's ever a problem with a winch let's go or whatever, we'll have a, a quick safety. I'll make that real quick before we take off. And then I just uh, ratchet strap the steering wheel straight. Danny will show you that real quick while I fix up this chain. And we should be dialed, ready to go. Now the one thing I don't have, I gotta get some lights for brake and signal. But uh, for the purposes of going around the block and showing the proof of concept, I think we'll be okay. This thing had lights on the side. I trimmed those off because uh, honestly, every time I kept getting in the bed, I kept whacking my head on the overhang and I, uh, I got tired of that. So I'll get this made up. We'll go for right around the block. Okay, so now obviously this is, there's some home, bit, home built additions to this, but this chain is probably not needed and uh, but I just like that some guys will actually over winch and let it just hang on the chain I'm gonna do the cable and we have that as safety 
And then if the boom, which is held up by this half inch cable ever size let go, we have both, those are uh, grade 70 chain ready to go. So at this point now, even if you ch cut the winch cable and cut all the cables, it would still be all together. There's gonna be no issues. We got everything screaming tight. We're golden there. We have our safety chain. One more safety chain would be ideal, but yeah. I don't know, overbuilding and overdoing things is what I enjoy and uh, I feel safe with this. So we're gonna go for a quick ride around the block, make sure toe is nice. My only concern is where I do have the angle underneath, I put it right where the weight's gonna be, which is right under the spring and it did sack it a little bit. So I'm thinking under some heavy load, it might, uh, you might have to do a little grinding or a little trimming or move it over a little bit or do something, but it should be fine. Now, when you look at the instruction manual, so this is based on a Holmes 440. Uh, so 440 was a PTO driven. The, the 220, which is what this is, was electric driven. And uh, man, the slide in ones, the instructions were like four bolts at the front, a block of wood under the back here and a bolt holding it and that was it. So this is overkill to the extreme. And uh, yeah, I think it'll work out pretty good. Let's go for a ride, let's go wait for the Amazon guy to move. He's in the way. So we just stopped to double check chains. We have three, four K away, a couple miles away. Seems like it's good. Everything's taut, no issues. I do wish I had uh, brake and turn signal lights. I can't believe I didn't. I have the tow bar ones that I built for uh, Power Tour, but this has a different style connector. And Princess Auto, which gets all my money, is actually closed today. It's uh, Thanksgiving for us in Canada. A lot of you Americans won't understand and make fun of us. Counterfeit Thanksgiving, I think it's called. But this thing, honestly, it tows nice. It's, uh, it brakes pretty good. Definitely, it's a little bit more weight when you're braking, you can feel it. I'm not used to how it's gonna turn, but it turns good. My buddy Dallas, single drive on YouTube, he's, he drives tow truck like professionally and he was saying like these old homes records they just cruise nice and i gotta say like this thing is mint i was really worried it wasn't going to go well with my little a-frame and that whole design but i think it turned out fantastic i'm excited about it so uh we got hot daniel hop out do a few drive-bys so you can actually look and uh, see what it looks like and i encourage all you guys to build a tow truck so uh i'm not the only guy on the road it looks ridiculous we need a lot of us out there build some Made it back. So as, as if it never happened. Um, one thing I want to address is the bottom of the sling, the articulation. A bunch of people have a comment about that. And I agree with everybody, but uh, I'll just show you here real quick. So we'll unhook this old girl. Oh, you know what I should do though, is undo my safety chain. Uh, get all this stuff undone. Look at all this safety we had. Didn't even need it. Check, changed a couple times. Everything was good. Doesn't even sack the truck out that bad. So basically, let's do everything in reverse. So we'll have to back into it to loosen the chain a little bit. So now the J-hooks will be all loose. Ugh. Got one. Hard to do upside down here. There we go. So this thing is free. Let's drive away real quick. What have I done? Everything is on everything. Oh yeah, it should be good. So, this is where everybody was 
well the tow truck guys we're talking about the sling and on a real tow truck sling this articulates two ways so i only have it going one way side to side for steering and it also articulate like a tilt so what that would allow is uh you're, you know the truck's going the truck takes a corner or, or goes up on an angle but the car doesn't so it can articulate that way as well i'm not building it like that this will probably work just fine it'll put a little bit of added stress on there but that's a one inch grade eight bolt and uh well a whole pile of steel glued together with the welder set to 11. so proof of concept i think it works i'm happy with it again we're not running a business with this thing it's just gonna be handy now when i want to take my stuff put it in storage or go pick up some junk or if i want to go take my own scrap in up until now when i had scrap i have to pay someone or i mean a lot of times they just come pick it up for free but i'm missing out a couple hundred dollars so uh yeah we're all good i think i want to change this stuff some pins but uh take those bolts out these receiver hitches come out slap the tailgate back on or do whatever you want to do we can take the boom off again just with two pins we have the bobcat and then uh you know you have the the record body in there but we're all set the winch is a nice added thing we used it today pull a motor so we can do that we have a mobile crane basically like honestly it's working out pretty good but that's it there you go i know it's uh a little off topic from hot rods but you know what sometimes you gotta have a tow truck uh, everybody needs a tow truck as far as i'm concerned but uh now you can build your own get a homes off uh facebook marketplace a bunch of welding wire and all your junk thanks for watching comment below if i missed anything if you, any tow truck aficionados everyone was super positive but uh if i missed one or two things let me know because i'm willing to learn but we made it around the block and uh we're still alive so i think it's uh we're done I gotta unratchet up this thing. See you in the next video.